Hi, my name is Dr. Frederick Edward Frobelia, and I will be discussing stress and stressors. Okay, so let's begin. So what is stress? So there are different kinds of stress, but first I'd like to discuss what is called the good type of stress. It is called eustress, okay? Stress can also be positive. Good stress can actually be beneficial to you. Good stress can help with motivation, focus, and performance. For some people, it can also feel exciting. So this is the kind of stress that is challenging. It's the kind that energizes you, that motivates you, that inspires you to test your limits, okay? But uh, we are more interested in the bad kind. And the first type that I want to discuss is what is called acute stress. So sometimes you can feel stressed for a short period. Usually it's nothing to worry about. Like when you need to hand in a project or you have to talk in front of a group of people. Okay, Maybe you feel something like butterflies in your stomach and the palms of your hands get sweaty. These types of positive stressors are short-lived and your body's way of helping you get through what could be a tough situation. So uh, we all know that there is daily stress, but this is temporary. Now, uh, what we have to avoid is allowing the acute stress to be prolonged okay? because it can lead to what is called chronic stress. And chronic stress is harmful because it can lead to effects on our body as well as effects on our mind. So our physical and mental health could be threatened by chronic stress. Okay. Learning how to recognize sources of stress in your life is the first step in managing them. So I want you to reflect on these uh, areas of your life in order to help you identify stressors. Okay. Is there anything about your body's physical state that makes you worry or causes you distress? So it can be an illness, an ailment. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next. Are there any issues arising between your uh, family, family members, or household that could be adversely affecting you? Okay, so think about that for a moment. Okay, let's proceed to the next. Think of your personal, political, or religious beliefs. Have your beliefs brought you into conflict with someone else? Or has something happened that made you question your beliefs? Okay, let's go to the next. Have you been recently having difficulty expressing your feelings? Do you have healthy outlets for your emotions? Okay, let's go to the next. Are you currently experiencing any financial worries? Okay. Has there been any drastic changes in your life, such as a new job, new school, new residence, a broken relationship, or a tragic loss? Okay. Have you had a recent traumatic experience? Okay, so I hope you have uh, reflected on all these questions about areas of your life. Okay, so uh, after you've figured out what your stressors are, you can take steps to reduce or avoid them. You can also adopt healthy lifestyle habits 
and strategies to manage the effects of stress. Of course, if you feel you're experiencing an unusual degree of distress or dysfunction, consider speaking to a professional in mental health. Okay, so that ends my discussion about stress and stressors. If you would like to stay updated with my upcoming lectures, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prof. Eric F., or you can also visit my blog, meaningsandperceptions.blogspot.com. Thank you very much.